Tanya Munro, Chief Defence Scientist. Yeah, hi, uh, Ms Munro. Uh, thanks for your patience today. I know you've been waiting all day. Uh, look, the reason why I've asked you here is, is that the consortium uh, on its website, the consortium seeks to develop medical countermeasures to assist with all hazard preparedness and response to the, for the participant countries. The emphasis of the consortium is on chemical, biological and radio radiological threats affecting civilian and military populations and on emerging infectious diseases and pandemics. Uh, now, the reason, uh, first question, I guess, is, uh, as I note, that money has been distributed uh, by the federal government. Uh, three years ago, 2017, three and a half million dollars was given to Professor Edward Holmes uh, for research into RNA viruses. He's just got another $700,000 uh, for research into preparing for pandemics. Uh, but he also worked for the Chinese uh, Centre for Disease Control from 2014 onwards. Uh, and he was also uh, named in emails uh, in the US Congress as having liaised with uh, Australian intelligence. Uh, have you liaised with Professor Edward Holmes at all? And if so, what did you discuss? Thank you, Senator, for your question. As I said, Tanya Munro, Chief Defence Scientist. I can make some general remarks about the medical countermeasures um, activities, but I don't have specific details here about Professor Holmes. I have not had personal interactions with him. Sure. Okay. So I guess the reason why I'm concerned is, is that he, uh, as in the US Congress, it's been disclosed that an Australian scientist worked with Anthony Fauci to cover up the origins of coronavirus, in particular the gain-of-function research. Now, he conducts gain-of-function research here in Australia, as I believe other scientists do. Uh, if you're concerned about the threats of, uh, as, we, as your uh, own page says, biological threats affecting civilian and military populations, are you prepared to uh, discuss with Professor Holmes what exactly his involvement uh, was with the origins of coronavirus, why he was working with the Chinese Centre of Disease Control and why he seemed so keen to cover up the gain-of-function theory? I can confirm that we have not supported any work that it can be classified as gain-of-function research. I am happy to take on notice um, some further work to, to look at in more detail what Professor Holmes has been doing. Are you prepared to investigate the threat of gain-of-function research here in Australia and from threats overseas coming back into Australia, as we saw with COVID-19? We have been involved in whole of government work that's had a look at um, what has been done in Australia on gain of function research, and I looked through that carefully myself and was comfortable that we have not supported any work in that area. I'm happy to update that and come back on notice. Yeah, I mean, look, it, 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 it happens here in Australia, and I mean, I get people do research on viruses. That's not the issue. I guess the issue is how are you dealing with the risks that there's an outbreak, whether intended or not, uh, because, you know, this is something that scientists are obviously clearly going to be doing. We know that they're, you know, saying there's only a matter of time for another pandemic outbreak. So I guess that's my point. I mean, it's not just specifically to what happened in the past, but to the overall general threat and risk of, you know, unregulated uh, gain-of-function research. I hear your comments and I'm happy to come back with more detail, but as I said, um, we have not supported work in this area and I'm not aware of any detail um, yeah, I'm not asking yeah. if you're supporting it. I'm asking if you if you are analysing the risk and looking at minimising those potential risks. Uh, we do work very carefully and con connectedly with the whole of the system here in Australia to understand how the biological research being done in this nation can bring benefit to defence. Um, we have not done a recent analysis of risk. Uh, but I'm happy to come back with more detail on notice. Do you think the fact that Professor Edward Holmes worked with the Chinese Centre for Disease Control warrants an investigation, at least, in terms of looking at risk? I think, Senator, that I'd need to have some more information at hand before I could form a judgment on whether such an investigation was warranted. OK, thank you. Thanks for your time. Authorised G. Rennick, LNP Chermside.